In early 2021, a bunch of internet folks decided to do the unthinkable. Take on the behemoths on Wall Street. GameStop. 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 This struggling video game retailer's shares were worth a few dollars in 2020. And they picked GameStop, the biggest of them all, the store that happened to be going bankrupt. This all began when they noticed that a certain hedge fund group called Melvin Capital was beating on the already dead horse, GameStop. And for some reason that got on their nerve. So the guys on social media took it upon themselves to cause some problems as a way of saying fuck you. Specifically, a Reddit group called Wall Street Bets got a significant amount of their members and hatched a plan to buy and hold GameStop stock as a way to drive the stock price higher and trigger what is known as a short squeeze. But little did they know this short squeeze would result to one of the craziest scandals of 2021. Now to a wild ride on Wall Street that seems to have just come right out of the blue this morning. It has officials and investors buzzing. So here's how it goes. Shares of the video game retailer GameStop have suddenly become a white hot must own skyrocketing over the last week or so. As the GameStop stock rose, many people saw it as an opportunity to make quick money and jumped on the train, which obviously drove the stock even higher. But I bet you're wondering what happened to those caught on the wrong side of that short squeeze. If only fucked could sum up how badly Melvin Capital situation became. They lost $7 billion. $7 billion lost because of a bunch of memes. To give you a better understanding, Melvin Capital was a giant to say nevertheless. They had $20 billion assets under management, which in dummy words means they were entrusted with $20 billion by a bunch of companies and people. So losing $7 billion along with their reputation was pretty messed up. Eventually, they had to close. And according to BusinessInsider.com, it was because of a poor showing performance. I would say that was a little bit more than a poor show. Just a tiny bit. While on the other side was a proud mama. This little guy just made a killing in the GameStop stock market frenzy. He's just 10 years old, a fifth grader, which begs the question... Are you smarter than a fifth grader? The big Wall Street wizards certainly aren't. Not this week. My phone is going off like crazy and I'm just like, go get the kid. <laughs> Jaden Carr's mom Nina bought him 10 shares of GameStop as a holiday gift for 60 bucks. As the stock rocketed up this week, they sold it for $3,200, a 5,000% gain. What are I will never understand humans who even buys their kids' shares. Not even decent shares, but some dying company. GameStop stock rise was so miraculous, it even turned people religious. It was almost as if God himself reached out to us, said one religious GameStop employee, whose family members could swear he was an atheist before he saw the stock market. Some of these new investors made so much money that they could probably buy their own GameStop store. Well, maybe a few. The news was all over it, and everyone was talking about how social media had turned Wall Street on its head and revived GameStop. However, as the universal law of gravity states, what comes up must come down, and GameStop did exactly that. GameStop stocks crashed so hard, and it became worth nothing exactly like their investors. The higher they are, the harder they fall. Boy, did they prove that statement to be true. And for those who didn't do their homework and invested blindly, well, let's just say they learned a valuable lesson. Stocks can go down just as fast as they go up. Investing is not a game. It takes knowledge, research, caution, and luck. A lot of it. As one finance expert put it, you can't just YOLO your way into a fortune, or can you? But even though the GameStop frenzy was short-lived, it was a momentous event. It proved that anyone can participate in the stock market, and sometimes, it's the little guys who come out on top. So, if you're thinking of investing, remember, do your research, be responsible, and maybe, just maybe, you'll hit the jackpot. Or at least have enough money to not live in your parents' basement.